in coverage. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 22. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Brings up third. Prescott on third and two. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him at an even 50 receiving yards now in this first half. And it's a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott steps away to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the three. 10 line. carry now for Allen. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. First and goal at the two yard line. Prescott, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Touchdown! A two-yard touchdown grab, and the Cowboys draw a bit closer. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. After the touchdown, Sloman to do the kickoff honors. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives, so a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like and now nothing but green ahead of him. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle to DK Metcalf on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns and the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fields this way up at the 17. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Their own 28-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. What's going on on the defensive That's side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Jack Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Brings up third and nine. Now Prescott. And quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, 
and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The DK Metcalf for the Seattle offense about set to take over once again. He might be on his way to a record-setting performance. So good here. We're only in the second quarter. And it's so interesting when we watch these types of days unfold for a receiver because they need a quarterback to run it accurately, people to block for the quarterback, so many other variables. But boy, he's getting it done and in a big way. Right now, he wants to rock on every snap. Yeah, he's counting his yards in the hundreds, not the tens. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 12 yards there and a first down. So week two of the NFL and already a lot of questions about the quarterback position. We know there was competition for the starting spot in the preseason. And this is caught at the 20. And he will score. Touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf in the final seconds of the first half. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Even though he was forced from the pocket, still able to adjust make the long throw and it ends with a really big touchdown yeah moving to his left the key to everything when they're moving outside of the pocket doesn't matter which side making sure those shoulders get around and you get back square so you can get everything on the throw and create the big play we just saw there downfield and the lead is up to 18 now. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Taking it about the one. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was the Jets who were able to come away with the win at home. 23-17 the final score next we head off to check out another game and they were victorious in that one over the visiting indianapolis colts 35 28 the final as they win by a touchdown and then finally a good one on monday night football between the la rams and the san francisco 49ers Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Eddie Pinheiro sets to kick off. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. At their own 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 56, the mark, boy. 53, 56. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Elliott, the ball carrier. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second. Prescott now. Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. <laughs> 
First and ten at the 30-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. The handoff to well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Prescott to throw it. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. The ball carrier. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. A gain of one brings up third down and now Prescott. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. DK Metcalf of the Seattle offense about set to take over once again. What a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one, even though we're supposed to be neutral, because this doesn't just happen by accident. This isn't four times where the defense just falls down or breaks coverage. He's worked awfully hard, changing routes, changing areas, changing angles, and getting open for touchdowns. We knew he'd be part of the game plan in a big way, and it has been in a very big way. Dancing to his left. This one into the hands of Metcalf. Refusing to go down. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Escaping the pressure right. That completes it again to Metcalf. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Arlington. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. They'll look to throw again. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf there to make the grab. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Extra point right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly right. That, you? All game long, 
They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that where you get symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis is symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word. I just kept using it. <laughs> and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Prescott looks to throw on first. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. By the Seahawks. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Back to throw is Carter. Off play action. This will be caught inside the 10. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Touchdown. Evan Ingram, his second touchdown on the season. And the interception by the Seahawks D leads to a touchdown. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes it just... Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Taken down back at the 20-yard line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Shaquille Griffin there defensively. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target Lamb. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. The Cowboys will go. Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. For no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. 19 yards there on the catch and run. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 
Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawk defense. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. DK Metcalf for the Seattle offense about set to take over once again. And as the tape rolls, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy these highlights. You tell me what you see. <laughs> it, it's a lot easier to do that than it is to keep track of all the yardage, isn't it? I mean, Marvin, our stat guy, he may fall over <laughs> over there. But boy, what a game. Because no matter what has happened out there on defense, he's had an answer for it. He's been terrific. And Marvin reminding me over 250 yards already in this one. Well, that field goal block pretty much sums up the day for them, doesn't it? Boy, it really does. What's the word we often use? Symptomatic? It's just, it's just been a sign of how this one's gone. Give a lot of credit to the guys who got in and blocked the kick. They've had the advantage all game, and they continue to press it. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. 20! 10! And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Things are rocking easy here in the fourth quarter. They've got to feel pretty good about this one. Actually, they've got to feel excellent. Tough loss in the opener. No way they wanted to go 0-2. I don't want to read too much into it, but psychologically, is there something much bigger about 0-2 than 0-1? Oh, without a doubt. And here's the biggest one. Eddie Guys Junior like you and me, all the media, are going to talk about, well, you know how hard it is to make the playoffs when you start 0-2, yeah. and that starts to work your, work its way through a team. And now they're working towards 1-1. One one. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Can't be denied, boy. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone, and you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And ten yards to go. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off right around the 43. You've got to love it, baby. There Give he goes, more. right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. Yet. Oh, Prescott stripped. But I believe a Cowboy was there to get it. He was. And Dallas will maintain possession. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken at the 18. And that one, a 55-yard punt, 13 on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll find Metcalf. Showtime and today, he takes baby. it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. Final score, Seahawks. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking, they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Seahawks, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they will fall to one and one. And they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our...